come down to my cellar to show you my new way of making super streams. Uh, both my printers are running, printing different uh, copies of it. There's two parts, there's an A part and a B part. I'll show you the printers first and then I'll show you how to assemble the parts. Here's my big box, printing a lovely bronze filament. And this part in the bottom left hand corner is the base of the B part. And you can see because it's got uh, a large vertical step in the middle. Here's my CR10S printing the A part. That's running through the middle of the uh, cluster there and instead of having a large vertical step it's got a, a steady progression of small steps all the way through the middle and as well as the base piece you also need two side arms and two end caps for each piece of the puzzle and they're the same on the A piece and the B piece. So I've printed uh, some out already in yellow. There's a, a, a good friction fit. <laughs> Makes it possible to print these pieces without support material and with only uh, a single head printer. So this is the B piece that has the large step in the middle. This is the A piece that has the series of smaller steps. The first thing you need to do is work out where everything goes. There's a hole here which is going to take one of the side arms like that and on the other end of the side arm is going to go the end cap. So I'm going to put this piece down. It's helpful to put the end caps onto the side arms first. A little tap will usually just get it started. If it's harder because the pieces have a tighter fit then I rest the wood on top and uh, tap it with the hammer. But I'm going to do all of those pieces first. Need to make sure it's flush all the way around. I've printed these parts with um, four perimeters. Which makes them usually strong enough to withstand this. These are actually splitting a little bit. which is the first time this has happened. I've not seen that with any of the other pieces that I've printed. Maybe to do with the temperature. Maybe a slightly higher temperature would give it a stronger bond. Then that piece goes on here. So again, turning it that way.
going to go in there like that. The other thing that can make a difference is over extrusion. The tolerances are quite tight. Which means that if you over extrude, and this is a little bit proud on the surface, yeah, I normally have it a little bit lower than that, then the holes are going to be tighter than uh, they ought to be. Right, that's the base piece, that's the side arm going in like that. not quite closed up enough. There's a little gap there. It should be flush all the way around. Sometimes you can uh, you can hear it better than you can see it. The sound changes. Final one, that's going to go here, so we'll turn it that way. Okay, shame about the splitting, but it's worked well enough to hold it. I may just close those up with a bit of glue. So, let's see if I can solve it now. I think this is over extruded, it's, it's tighter than normal. There we go, but it's fitted together. There we go, so that's how to put the pieces together. It's also the warning to uh, check that your extrusion multiplier is set so that you're not over extruding the prints because they're more likely to split then when you, uh, when you assemble it. Um, and that's how it solves. Hope that's helpful, um, but uh, do have a go and see if you can make uh, a good copy.